the last maybe two decades or so. You know, I can say that Michael, even though he was born in the month of August, he was still a Virgo per se. Correct. You know, but then you can look at another flip side and say that maybe he was had more energy of a Leo Virgo Correct. instead of just a strict, strict Virgo. Correct. But that six number, it really pulls in a lot more responsibility and health related and a lot of um a lot of um i you know i can i can see the feel uh, of 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 the voice you know and he did have a real different kind of voice you know a, a, almost a more feminine kind of voice when he talked than uh a heavy kind of voice right. but you know I, I i i'd like for you to speak a little bit to that 11 vibe that he had on the 29th and his sensitivity okay and how very sensitive michael was well What's interesting about the actual day that he was born is that the 29 actually is an 11. And the number 11 also is the number for this year. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, there are three great steps that all of us who walk on this earth in a physical human body adhere to. The first great step has to do with the month that we're born. And for Michael's case, it lasted from birth until the age of 29. Age tw culminating at age 29, that's an 11 itself. Now from age 29 until age 56, would be what we call his middle passage in life. That's the second great step that he had encountered, was the great middle passage that he was in. And that is ruled by the day that you were born. And his middle passage is governed by the number 11, which has a lot to do, or is very akin to the Aquarian age. Believe it or not, through his music, he was one of the people that assisted us in bringing in the Aquarian age mm. before the Aquarian age has actually formally begun. Now, there's a lot of debate as to when, when the Aquarian age, age begins. begins. Because as we both know, back in the 60s there was a play out called, uh, what was the play again that was on Broadway and they talked about the age of Aquarius. And then the Hair. Group, hair, exactly, mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. And then the group had a song out called Aquarius. The Fifth this Dimension. This is the dawning of the age, the age of, of Aquarius. Aquarius. Yes. Many yes. people say that that was the beginning of the age of Aquarius. I tend to agree with that, okay? But we're not going to go into any debate about that. We're going to talk about this person here, Michael Jackson. Now, the number 11 is very sensitive. Now, one thing that I have always stated in my writings, in my readings, in my consultations with people is that there is a very favorable kinship with the number 11 and the number 7. Sometimes it's very difficult as an, a numerologist to differentiate the two because I have observed and noticed and encountered that whenever the number 11 is present, the number 7 is also nearby in terms of our life experiences. Well, well, well given that piece then, can you give us and show us immediately how that correlates? And the only thing that I can think of is the fact that Michael made his transition on the 25th. On the 25th. And the reason I remember that is because that was a, a day, uh, when my, one of my friend's birthday. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that there's a correlation between 11 and 7. And 7. Right. And the 25th, when you take 
we cannot assume anything now because mm -hmm. we're talking to a large audience. When you take the digits two and five of twenty of the twenty fifth and add those together, that is, is what, what creates the number the, seven. The seven so die. that's the okay. clarification there, and also the verification. Okay. Well, you know, I, I was um, uh, today uh, was uh, experiencing some people uh, within the hospital setting, and uh, one of this young lady showed me a. a, a a text message that she had gotten and she said that it said in a text message that she had received that Michael Jackson made his transition on the 25th of June uh, James Brown died on December 25th Rahana died on the 25th of some month I forget exactly what month it was so now, I, I thought the number seven also had to do with a lot of spirituality. So how does that tie in? And what kind of correlation do you see here of all these people making their transition, which were very powerful people, at mm -hmm. least with the music? And music has a lot to do with the feeling of people on the 25th of the month. Okay. Well, to shed light on this, the number seven is not assigned as a death vibration. Let me clarify that. Now, there may be a lot of numerologists and also just as many astrologists that would differ and probably uh, vehemently disagree with me on that. However, historically, we have found with the number seven involved, there is usually some troubling incident that is involved with the passing of that particular person involved. So let, let me get clear. What you're saying here then is the pattern, if, if the, the, there's a possibility. Great possibility. Great possibility. A greater than smaller possibility. Correct. When that 25 vibe shows up, or that 7 vibe shows up, that there's some kind of troubling aspect. Is that what I'm hearing That's you say? That's working behind the scenes, unseen and unnoticed to the common mind. Now, if one is a very skilled numerologist, astrologer, uh, Kabbalist, uh, a person of some form of divination, say like the I Ching, okay, then uh, this can be known and found out. See, there is nothing in this universe that we cannot find out, okay? And that's the great beauty of dealing with the science of numerology and also the study of numbers themselves. You know, uh, when you begin, but, but see, that brings in a whole nother aspect when you begin to talk about numbers because from a religion standpoint, most churches, numerology and astrology. Correct. And they don't believe in it, supposedly. Correct. But didn't the figure or the character that they call Jesus the Christ say emphatically that every hair on your head is numbered? Well, I'm, I'm not a, Bible, a biblical scholar, <laughs> so, so I won't take you to task on that. But, you know, I, I, I guess my piece of it is, from a number standpoint, it does help you get some clarity right. as to what's going on with the person as they're incarnated and as they leave. Okay. You know, and the nice thing that I like about numerology is that it, it, you can use it as a guide as to what circumstances may be better for you to deal with at particular time. Okay. I'd like to add more to the answer that I just had given concerning your question, your concern about the passing of Michael Jackson, because it was very stunning for the masses of the people. And when you informed me that it, ha it had happened, I was a little stunned at first. I said, hmm, there's something not correct here. Okay? Now, 
Of course, many people would say, well, uh, there's been other people who have died uh, suddenly. There have been many people in the music entertainment industry, in government, politics, who have suddenly died. Uh, 